and we have published this NIMA National Water Policy. This is drafted by the expert group. We are 35 uh, water professionals, all Myanmar people, and uh, some are 87 years old, and the youngest is uh, around 50. You know, for me, I am around 60. So you will see, you know, I have 35 years of uh, experience in the water sector since I obtained a first degree, the civil engineering degree. So. I would say that such kind of work needs a lot of patience, politeness and perseverance. We cannot give up hope. Also, we cannot uh, drop the thing you know, in the middle of the way and say, okay, no, it, it isn't worth it and we will stop it. No, we can't say that. So we have to be very patient and persuasive and that also helped us to make the trust building more and more. So we are now currently making the water law and that also drafting process will be uh, more people participating. We have uh, Myanmar National Water Framework Directive drafted and make uh, five times of uh, public uh, consultative meetings across the country. So we were faced uh, by the mistrust, you know, and skepticism, skepticism that people think, uh, no, no, you do all these efforts and that will bring no result. Or, uh, no, I don't believe you, you just say some good words. And uh, then we have been um, under the pressure of the authorities so that will not change. So we say no, at least this water policy is people participated and democratically um, oriented. So this can be say democratic uh, policy, but still, if we want to be really democratic, we have to test it in the practical way. So that is the second step. We are trying, you know, to persuade the government to do exactly what is written here and also to persuade the people to get, you know, to into cooperation and water cooperation and start uh, implementing this policy. And we believe that we can implement this policy. We, our country can get the green economy and green growth very in a short time.